Hey guys, I'm Deirdre Nori with Active Life Store and today I'm going to be giving you the best snow goggles for the 2014 through 2015 snow season. And these are my absolute number one pick. These are the Dragon APX2 snow goggles and I really like them because not only are they comfortable, they're durable and the lenses are so easy to change out and they come with two. And they're a little bit more expensive at 260 but you really get what you pay for. And this is how easy it is to change out. You literally just lift the lock and then they pop right out. And on the top, they're plastic rather than foam being on the top. And the frames are flexible. So I really like that because they're not this hard plastic while I ride. And to change them back in, you literally just pop them in and pull down on the lock, and then you do the same thing for the other side. They are an extremely large frame, and they're spherical, so they would look a little bit ridiculous on me, but I would still wear these because they're so comfortable, and the lenses are easy to change out, and the quality is so great. My number two pick are the Electric EG3s, and these ones are only 220, so they're less expensive than the Dragons and they're not as easy to change out the lenses. I mean, they're easy, but they're just tricky. So you just, there's an opening right here and you just pull them out and they're magnetic strip on the inside. So the other replacement lenses just pop right back in and you just push. They're easy, but compared to the Dragon APX 2s, I feel like nothing compares to those because they're so easy. And these ones you really have to fit in and make sure that all the pockets are in. But they're still easy. It just takes a little bit longer than the APX 2s. And these ones again too have another quality that I really like is they don't have the foam on top because when you ride and it's a heavy powder day, snow is bound to get in here. And rather than having the foam on top where they get wet and soggy and just extra heavy because the snow is in there it's plastic and the foam is underneath which i like so the snow goes on the plastic part rather than the foam where it absorbs the snow and these two have vents all around the goggles which i like and they're compatible with helmets too we tried on the helmets that we have here which we have a lot of different varieties and they fit perfectly even though they're so large and my number threes are the Oakley Flight Decks for this new season. And I like these ones. These remind me of a cross between both of these two, the Dragon and the Electrics. So I like them, but these ones do have the foam on top rather than having plastic. And these ones you just pop out. They're like the Dragon, or they're like the Electrics. And as you can tell, they pop right out. And these are the electrics. And all three of these goggle lenses are super thick. I think the flight decks are one of the thickest ones. Um, they're dual fog, or they're dual lenses. So they have two lenses inside, and if you just pick them up, they're so heavy. And the dragons, too, are really thick, and they're great quality, which is why I like the dragons so much. And so are the electrics. The electrics are really thick as well. And these ones, to push them back in, you just match them up. And these ones took me a while to get used to, but I mean, you do get used to them. And these ones are cheaper than most of them. They're, they range from 150 to 230, where the Dragons are 260 and the Electrics are 220. Flight decks are 150 to 230. And then all three of these are really comfortable. And the flight decks only come with one lens. The dragons come with two and the electrics come with two as well. And then my number four pick are the Smith's IO7. And Smith, in my opinion, are really comfortable. The foam is super comfortable, even though they're not that thick. And these ones right here, they're super flexible. You can just push them and they mold to your face so they're not so stiff and these ones are easy to change out too um, there's a pivot right here that you lift up and you turn and then they release from the sides 
and then they pop out from the nose. And these ones are 225 and they come with two lenses. And to get these ones back in, they're pretty simple. You just push in. What I do is I push in the nose piece first, so at least you have that part in. And all these goggles do take some getting used to, to push them back in, except for the dragons, which are my favorite because anybody can do those. And then you just push the pivot in, and then you lock it. And all of these goggles have the silicone on the strap to keep them in place. These ones are my number five pick. These are the Nike Fade Goggles. And these ones are super light, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it can be a bad thing because that can make you question the quality. But they can be a plus because they're so light, which obviously would be a positive thing when you're riding. And these ones are really easy to change out and they do come with two lenses. So the only ones that don't come with two lenses are the flight decks. And those are 150 to 230 and the Nike fades you just literally pop them out and they have the press and seal so you just pull them apart and they come out and these frames too are flexible which I love the flexibility and these ones are different because they have the mesh on the vents and it repels against any water so I would really like to try these ones because I want to see how that works and to push the extra lenses back in, you just press and you seal. And these ones are really easy too. I think these are the easiest ones that don't have a lock on them. Easier than the flight decks and the electrics. And the Nikes come in a lot of different colors too. See, that's really easy. And these ones have like an outrigger system right here. You can't push them, but they don't press against your face and they're compatible with helmets. And an extra feature that I like are the bags. The Dragon is my favorite one. They come with a microfiber bag and a case, and so do the Nikes, which I really like. And the cases are extremely durable, so are the Dragons too. And when I ride, I carry a backpack, so I put a lot of stuff in my backpack, and it really makes me nervous with the microfiber case because this is not gonna protect your goggles, but this will. So that's another reason why the dragons are my favorite. So if you put your goggles in here, I can literally, they're not gonna break, which I love. Because you're paying $260 for these goggles, you at least want them to last. And so when they're in here and I ride, I know they're gonna be safe as you can see. And we have full reviews on all of these goggles on our YouTube channel at Active Life Store, and you can go ahead and check those out. And thanks for watching guys with Active Life Store. I'm Darren Inori. For all of your outdoor gear needs, be sure to check out activelifestore.com.